So I was holding my Sean, and he is one of our sweet babies who we bring in on Tuesday nights to feed and feed, to eat spiritual food and physical food. And um, one, a few of the Tuesday nights, he just kept crying and crying, and nobody could figure out what was wrong with him. And I almost fainted when I heard the reason. He finally told someone, I miss Miss Cheyenne. I had not been here a couple, and I just fainted. All my, all my, I didn't faint. I don't want to lie. But I thought about it. It felt like I could, except I never really have. But anyway, I <laughs> we're, we're not done, so don't sit down in your heart. <laughs> I mean, kneel down in your Never mind. So, Asher was on the guitar, and my Sean had come over to hug me, and I'm hugging him, and I see Asher, and Asher's on the guitar, and he showed me he was playing. And boy, was he playing. Then, my Sean was crying, and I asked him why he was crying. Because last time he was crying for me, but I'm holding him. Uh, and he was hungry. <sighs> Just can't take it. <laughs> A lot of people can't take it. Some of you know what it's like to be hungry. Um, I, I never knew that. Like, I fast, but there's always food, you know. But my mom knew what it was like to be hungry, and so she made sure I never did. Like you, Jess. Um, one night, years ago, if you've been coming to this church six years or over, raise your hand. Isn't that cool? Look around. Look around. Look around. Look how God has kept us over six years. That's a, that's a big deal, y'all. It's a big deal. Jacob, Jacob has been over six years, basically, yes, through your mom and dad. That's just so exciting. Do we approve of this? What do you settle for? Peanut butter and jelly? Sounds good. He, 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 was, he wasn't into bagel and cream cheese. <laughs> that was offered first. It was... So, you'll remember this story. I was, one night around 10 o'clock, I felt the Holy Spirit say to me, let no sleep come to your eyes. Cry out for the souls of the children. And that was about 10 o'clock, so I had not been able to prepare, you know, sleep. I wasn't like sleeping in to prepare for an all-night prayer meeting. I didn't know I was going to have one until it was the night that the Lord decided I would have one. So I didn't go to sleep all night and I meditated on lamentations because that was my flip. Um, I'm going somewhere. So Asher came and decided to give Jacob a turn with a guitar. We share, so that's awesome. As I was finding out what was going on with my Sean, and Asher went and got tissues for his tears. Is that much better than that bagel with cream cheese? Good. <laughs> Peter and butter. You like the bagel and cream cheese better? Okay. Here, their bro- here are his brothers, Wyatt and AJ. Can you say, what's up? Y'all are here on a Sunday morning. Can we talk about this? And Levi, you're always here, and we're glad. <laughs> y'all make sure, we make sure Levi's had breakfast. Ask somebody. Um, so, so Asher's sitting beside me, and I'm um, holding my Sean. And suddenly I felt the Holy Spirit tell me to have Asher do a flip in my Bible. I said, Asher, open it for me. Well, I'm holding this one. Lamentations 2, right next to 3. 
Rise during the night and cry out. (laughs) Pour out your hearts like water to the Lord. Lift up your hands to him in prayer, bleeding for your children. For in every street they are faint with hunger. This just happened. I'm holding a baby who is crying with hunger. And this baby, who is not, opens the Bible, I believe is a prophetic act of intercession. Let us who are filled lift our hands for those who are not. And yes, let's give them bagels unless they don't like them. Then let's give them peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But now I understand why Holy Spirit was speaking to me this morning. And he said, ask the church what they're hungry for. Many people are hungry for peace. Who doesn't want peace? Many people are hungry for joy. And these are all part of the kingdom of God. But being filled with peace, you can mistake that for a feeling of loving your first cup of coffee. But the Bible says those who are filled with righteousness, those who hunger and thirst for, say it again, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness shall be filled, shall be filled shall be filled shall be filled righteousness the righteousness of who the righteousness of Jesus the righteousness of Jesus he took all my sin and gave me all his righteousness oh the righteousness of Jesus The righteousness of Jesus. He took all my sin. He took it all on him. Yeah. I've got the righteousness of Jesus. I've got the righteousness of Jesus. He took all my sin. Oh, it was all laid on him. It was all laid on him. It was all laid on him, all my sin and sickness. We cannot miss what just happened. Listen to this. Rise during the night and cry out. Pour out your hearts like water to the Lord. Lift up your hands to him in prayer, pleading for your children. For in every street they are faint with hunger. This is the same book that says the faithfulness of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. Once you believe in Jesus, you have fresh bread every morning, a never ending river inside. And many times, the reason that people are not receiving the bread and the wine from our life is we are still hungering for peace and joy because we are not taking advantage of who we have. Those who hunger and thirst for righteousness shall be filled. Well, if you have Jesus, are you filled or empty? I don't have peace. Why? (laughs) I need joy. Why? What is it you're hungry for? Affirmation?
Are you hungry for everyone's approval? Are you thirsty for everyone to think well of you? Or are you hungry and thirsty for what you received when you believed Jesus Christ died for you? And if you can remember what you've received, you'll have all the peace you need. Here's, here's what I'm saying. Do we have times where we could use a little peace? Yes. Has peace been taken from us? You sure? Has joy been taken from us? Did Jesus decide to undo what he did? Are you sure? Then there are people around you that are actually hungry and thirsty for what you have. And it is time to be broken bread and poured out wine instead of filled with wine. wine, wine. I know that my husband still isn't nice to me. Well, your eternal husband is. Boy, he is so kind to you. His mercies are fresh every morning. Can we lift our hands in prayer for the ones who are actually fainting with hunger instead of continuing to wallow in our thinking we're fainting with hunger? We have been filled with his righteousness. We all think. We think. Now, if you haven't been filled with his righteousness, there's a reason you don't have peace. But if you have been filled with righteousness, if you'd stop hungering and thirsting for peace and joy and be filled with his righteousness and know that you are, you will be so overflowing, you give bread away. Give bread away. What do y'all think? Y'all quiet. What do you think? What do you think? our drummer just kidding we can have church without a drummer you actually can I'm excited because I know if we offered free inner healing and deliverance this almost this entire church would line up free inner healing and deliverance today at two o'clock we you we might have a traffic jam at the door Righteousness, which produces peace and joy in our life, free for the taking. Actually, you don't even have to take it. Just receive. Just receive. How do you receive? How do you receive? How do you receive? How do you receive? receive? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us realize who we have that we actually have all that we need. Let's give some bread away to those who are actually hungry and thirsty and they have no idea what they're hungering and thirst for. Hallelujah, yay, yay. Hallelujah, lift your hands. Lift your hands, yay, yay. More, Lord. That's what I'm talking about right there. In the name of Jesus. Come on. If you have not received Jesus, lift your hands and your heart and receive. And if you, look at this, look at this. (laughs) If you have received Jesus, lift your hands in rejoicing and pray for those who are actually hungry and thirsty. Just cry out.
like you have no food. Stop living like you have no water. The hope of glory, Christ in me, an unchanging story. Give bread away. Give bread away. How do you think the little boy's fish and loaves multiplied? If you feel you don't have enough, give what you have away. You want to know how much Jesus you actually have? Start giving him away. Start giving him away. We live like beggars when we are so rich. We are so rich. We are so rich. We are so rich. We are so rich and there are people who actually are starving. Perhaps they are filled in the natural, but they are starving and they are headed for blackest darkness. And we have been called into the kingdom. (laughs) We are wealthy beyond comprehension because he is our inheritance. Stop living like you have no bread. Stop living like you have no wine. Stop living like you have no water. Release the river. Out of your bellies will flow rivers of living water. Who is the water? It is not your feelings of plenty. It is Jesus Christ himself. The river is not your feeling of plenty. The river is not a thousand likes on your Facebook post that made you feel better about what you just said. Does God like what you said? Then you're fine. And if he didn't, you might be in trouble. Realign your motives and priorities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stop living like you have no bread. You have enough to feed thousands. You have enough to feed the 5,000. We have enough to feed the 5,000 because it is Him and us. There's always enough. There's always enough, enough. He never runs out. You will never reach for more of Jesus to give away and find that you are empty. Before he told Peter to feed his sheep, he fed Peter. Some people say, feed people hungry. I don't. I say, you have nothing to give them if you're empty. And there is no reason to be empty. The tomb is empty. You're not. I just feel empty. What you mean is, I believe the tomb is empty. I just feel empty. Oh, what you mean is, the tomb is empty. Praise God, I'm filled. The tomb is empty. 
I just feel afraid. Oh, you meant the devil's afraid. Oh, what you meant? I know what you meant to say. I just don't feel right. What you meant to say is Christ has made me right with God. I just don't feel like myself. That was not the goal of Calvary. Let me see if I can make Cheyenne feel more like Cheyenne. No, he filled me with Jesus. <laughs> uh-huh. Next time you feel hungry, eat of him and then give him away. Drink of him and then let the rivers of living water flow from your belly in the name of Jesus. You have all that you need to do what God has called you to do. <laughs> you have all that you need to do what God has called you to do. Oh, honey, he's called you to him. And there's so much water you can swim in the glory. You can swim in the glory. Honey, you would know you probably better than me. What do you do when you're dehydrated? Drink water. <laughs> Drink of him. Drink of him. It wasn't just free at first, Maddie. You don't get to drink freely at first and then pay a price. After a thousand free sips, stop sipping. Whoa, <laughs> stop sipping. <laughs> you would laugh at someone who just sipped a little water and thought that was enough, right? I mean, you'd be kind, but stop sipping. <laughs> be submerged. Drink, 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 drink of Him, drink of Him. Drink of him, drink of him. He is the living water. And he is your loving father. He doesn't get tired of your request. Your father doesn't get tired of your request. And he doesn't run out. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask for more. Don't be afraid to ask for more. <laughs> Listen, while you're giving out that bread, I don't see one scripture that said, Jesus said, give this out, but don't eat any. <laughs> he even cooked fish for the fishermen. Hello, fishermen. Jesus has fish for you. <laughs> it's not all up to you. saving people or healing yourself it, how could we do it <laughs> oh eat and drink eat and drink eat the bread drink the wine eat the bread drink the wine eat the bread drink the wine what I mean is the first miracle we know about was Jesus turning water into wine at a wedding the last miracle that I see before he said it is finished, they pierced, well, after he said it is finished, they pierced his side and blood and water flowed as living water became living wine for the wedding. <laughs> for the wedding. <laughs> Hallelujah. He is soon coming. Do you see? For the first wedding, he, he said, fill it with water. It became wine. He said, I'm living water. But he had to die for the living water to become living wine. He said, I will not drink wine again until I do it with you. <laughs> New covenant wine is what we're talking about. The wine of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, do not be drunk with wine for this will ruin your life, but be 
filled with Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the wine of the new covenant. Come on, let's be filled. Let's be filled. Let's be filled. But let's know, let us know that there is always enough. Don't think that you have to feel a certain way before you tell someone Jesus is the way. You don't have to feel a certain way to tell your neighbor that Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way, Jesus is the way to the Father. Would you like to be God's son and daughter? You can say that. He is the way, Jesus is the only way, he's the only way to the Father. Receive him and become God's son and daughter. My big point is, look at the reasons you feel empty. What is it you're hungry and thirsty for? If it's just for peace, you could just go track down the, the, the last of the autumn leaves. Oh, I used to, and I don't have a problem with it. I'll still do it, but not for peace. I have peace. I, I, I'll still eat some cheesecake. And it don't even have to be dairy-free, by the way. I can't mean to tell you. Full, for dairy, full fat. Come on. Full fat. Full fat dairy. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nathaniel. Splash of chocolate milk. Hallelujah. Come on. I have joy. What we need is righteousness. Righteousness. If you're just hungry for peace and joy... Maybe, maybe not. It's those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. And when you're hungry and thirsty for righteousness and you eat of Jesus and you drink of Jesus, well, you're filled with what? Righteousness. And now you can say, oh, I have the righteousness of Christ. Wow. What peace comes with knowing that you have been made right with God. I don't know what the the thing is. Do I need to do something else? No. Okay. You say, I have the right. If you're a believer. If you truly believe, if you believe in Jesus, say, I have the righteousness of Christ. I'm not looking to see who said it. Just kidding. Say it boldly. And if you don't, do it today. Don't wait. Don't wait. You don't have to wait for the altar call. Kevin will give one, but you don't have to wait for that. Believe. Say believe. And when you believe, you receive Jesus. Okay, And when you have Jesus, you don't have to be so hungry and thirsty for feelings of peace and joy. Amen.